Hi, I'm Björn Stolt from Modern Professional. Welcome to this quick tip video on how to work with Freescale mode in P3. I will show you how to get Skeptron 10 fixtures to work on a 50 meter wide workspace, which is far exceeding the maximum 19 meters of a traditional 1920 1080 map. To get started, I will create a new show file, name it something accordingly, and select Freescale mode in the mode selection. In Freescale mode, mapping is done according to physical size, just like in real world mode. However, fixtures of a pixel pitch smaller than what is set are actually allowed, which leads to upscaling for those fixtures. So this means the pixel pitch is calculated from the user-defined size and resolution of the show area, instead of being limited in size due to pixel pitch, like in real world mode. What that means comes in this window. So here you see if my stage width is set to 10 meters, the height 5.625, the resolution would be 1920 1080, of course, which is my input resolution, so full HD. With these measurements, I will get a pixel pitch of 5.21 and have a workable area of 10 meters by 5.625 meters, which is too small because I need to go to 50 meters wide. So I set my width here to 50 meters. With that, it doesn't change the height because I could still be working with a cropped workspace. But in this case, I want to get my height to be as close to 1080 pixels as possible, or exactly 1080 pixels. So with 50 meters, I would be around 28 meters high with 169 ratio. So that would give me 1076 so I click up and hit my perfect 1920 1080 pixels this now gives me a pixel pitch of 26.04 millimeters instead of being limited to 10 so this will mean I can work with 10 millimeter products but they will be upscaled since the Skeptrons are behind a diffuser and are more used as a set piece for just some fluid content on this setup and not perfectly pixel accurate content, this will work just fine. If I wanted to do full pixel accuracy, I would need to do 1-1 one -one mode and do a lot of video mapping in my media server to get this pixel accurate. This would also be the mode I would choose for a large festival stage with 50 meter wide stage with wings if the Skeptrons are just a set piece and decoration. So finish creates my workspace. And you see here it says freescale mode so first thing to do is of course go to video input change my format to 1920 1080 so i get my whole viewport as a work area workspace area click here in project options add a background image of my mapping which you of course know from the previous videos so here i will find something that is a thousand millimeters hold my Control and click to get a full Skeptron set. And then I have this one almost covering the whole width of the workspace. So now I am ready to start mapping. So here I can now start adding Skeptrons to the mapping and get cracking on creating this awesome map. To keep the video short, I am fast forwarding my mapping process as I'm not usually this fast as in the video, even though that would be nice. But it is a quick mapping process with a lot of copy pasting, grouping and rotation taught in other tutorials. With the mapping done, I can head over to video input, select my hypnotizer as input source from the hippo integration, see my input here over all my fixtures, but maybe they should be more centered. So I'll select all my Skeptron, pull them down towards center of the workspace, maybe like so, and then select the new view mode from 5.2 with video input and nudge my fixtures so they are quite centered over the video input. This is how freescale mode works on a 50mm wide 
set up with 10mm skeptrons. Thank you for watching.